in the end, there can be Obi Wan. I mean, only one. Videos on the squaffy looking Nerf Hunter channel are intended for audiences of 13 and above. Hi guys, as always, I am a scruffy looking nerf order and welcome to my channel where I like to talk about and review Star Wars toys that have been released over the years. Now, I'm a big Black Series collector, Star Wars Black Series figures, and you can see on my shelf some of my favourites there. Uh, I love these guys, and it's been a bit of an unusual year for Black Series figures. We've seen lots of pre-orders uh, that just haven't turned up, and we've seen Rancors come and go, but with all that going on, there's been some exceptional figures that have been released. Even if you're not into Black Series figures, some of these cool toys are just worth looking at. So here is my list of my top 10, along with a few honorable mentions. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Let's get on with the video. Number 10 on my list, Ara Singh. A great looking figure and some great details on her. And look at the size of this gun. It's incredible. <laughs> now, if we get a bit of a close up of the face, you can see it's got some really great details on there. And I've always loved this character ever since we saw her in episode one, briefly. And I think they've done a great job with the detailing on here, even to the point where you can see on the back of her braids, they've painted uh, painted them on, and that's a really nice touch. Great looking figure. Definitely worth picking up. Number nine on my list is Bodhi Rook from Rogue One. What a great looking figure. You can see some wonderful detail on there. And he comes with this great backpack. And the fact that they've made it so you can actually pull out the uh, the fuel line is really, really cool. But don't get me wrong, it is a real pain to get it uh, back. So even when you do pull it out, you have to undo this, wind this whole thing up. It's a real faff. So not best pleased with that. It feels like I'm winding a tape up from the 90s. But saying that, it is cool if you want to get some nice pictures of that uh, that fuel line going somewhere. And it's just a really nice figure. Look at that head sculpt. It's a really great figure. It's a shame that the goggles can't be moved. They are attached to his head. So you can't take those off. But yeah, it looks great. And I'm glad that I finally managed to complete my Rogue One squad. Number eight on my list, the Artillery Trooper. Artillery, artillery, that sounds weird. Anyway, the artillery trooper. What a great figure. Look at the detail on that face. Now, Hasbro redid their stormtrooper mold last year, and they made this stormtrooper, and it's a great figure. And I'm glad that they've carried on using it. And this this figure really does benefit from that new sculpt. It really does look like someone in a suit. And uh, when you take toy photos, you can get some great details from this figure. You can see as well, it also comes with his uh, his launcher. And on the back, he's got the shells as well. Now what's really cool is the fact that this one obviously came off in the packaging. So you can put that in there and boom, <laughs> fire it off. But what I didn't notice at first was that the fact that these can all be removed. That's a really nice touch that these are all separate pieces. They didn't have to do that. And at first I thought this was on one molded piece. So that's great attention to detail there. And you've got so many more options when you're taking photos. And the other great thing about this figure is he actually made storage for the blaster on the backpack. And I love it when they do stuff like this. So literally the blaster can attach there. So when he's launching his mortars, that blaster can be tucked away out of, uh, out of sight. And I love that sort of stuff. Great looking figure. Definitely worthy of being on my list. Next on my list is Arc Trooper Echo, and what a great figure this is. If we look at the detail there on the body, you can see that handprint is on there, and the face tech print is lovely. Look at that. He looks really nice, even with the light shining on him. And the, the details on the body are pretty good. There's some reuse in this from previous clone bodies, but it's a really nicely done uh, figure. You see there are the details on the backpack as well. Really great looking figure. I love this figure. Apart from the fact that I can't get over the fact that it looks to me like he's wearing slippers. But I'm sure that's in the design of the actual figure as well. But it's nice that he made himself at home. And a great looking figure. There we go. Let's put the helmet on just to complete that look. There he is. What a great looking figure. Next on my list. I'm a massive Return of the Jedi fan. So I had to put this one on. It's General Lando. 
and uh, let's have a look at that face first of all you can see some great details on there if not it does look a little bit sweaty but if you're flying the falcon while masses of flames are chasing you you're probably going to be looking a bit sweaty too Come on ahead, old buddy, don't let me down. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a, just a great looking figure. Some really nice details on there. You can see even looking at the watch. Did a really great job on that. The only thing I think that lets it down a little bit is the cape. But uh, I can live with that. I think it's a nice looking figure. And uh, definitely worthy of being on my list. Next on my list, another Clone Wars figure. Asaz Ventress. What a great looking figure. Again, let's have a look at that head detail. You can see there, she looks really nice, if not a little bit angry. And I love the velvet skirt on this, not real velvet. This is Hasbro we're talking about, but it's really nicely done. And uh, it doesn't hinder the articulation of the legs so she can still really spread those legs, get her into some really nice dynamic poses. And yeah, just a great looking figure. And a great character as well. Really nice to have her on the shelf at last. Next on the list, it's Cosca Reeves from The Mandalorian. And this is a great looking figure. Now this reuses a lot of uh, the Bo-Katan figure that was released this year as well. So this part is all sort of reuse, slight different with it only having one uh, holster. But what makes this figure is the, the face. Let's get a close up and look. It is so nice great detailing on there and even her hair look at the top look at those braids really great details on this figure there at the back you can see and it, i like the fact they designed it so her hair is really nice and flat so we can put that helmet over the top as well and it just looks great it looks so similar to is it sasha banks the uh, the wrestler i think they've done a great job and in fact it looks probably better than most of the wrestling figures of her they've done an excellent job with that figure really really impressed if you're enjoying this video so far, can I ask you to click the like button? Then the force will be with you, always. Number three on the list is the Deluxe Bobo Fett. And this is a great looking figure. There's a few issues with the helmet that actually gets squished in the box. And I know mine's still looking a bit funny now, but if you stick it in a bit of boiling water, you can sort that out. But the actual details, look at the armor. You can see there, it's got some really nice wear and tear on there. And I have to say, I take so many different photos of this guy. I just think he looks great. I think every scene needs a Boba Fett just lurking in the corner. And uh, I think he looks pretty good. And at the moment, I imagine you're like me. Uh, we're all in sort of Boba Fett fan mode with the book of Boba Fett coming out. So really, I, I'm surprised I didn't put this figure number one. I had to sort of hold myself back a little bit because the figure does have some issues. And there's probably not enough wear on the actual legs. They look a bit too clean for me. But overall, it's a great looking figure. Really, really happy to put it on my list. Number two on the list is Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars. Not that Clone Wars, the other Clone Wars. And uh, it's a great looking figure. First of all, look at that face. It really does, from certain angles, look just like Ewan McGregor. They've done a great job with that face really is great and the armor as well it looks so nice you can see look at the detail on there it's exactly what i wanted from a clone wars Obi-Wan figure it just looks perfect such a nice figure great to uh pose as well really nice figure and before we get to number one i'm just going to go over some honorable mentions first of all of course jar jar binks what a great figure i mean the detail on the face alone is so good. It's a shame he looks so static. I always imagined Jar Jar being a bit more animated, but a great looking figure. Use the thinking music on a win? Not today, Jar Jar, not today. Uh, another one that almost made it to my list, the Flame Trooper from the Gaming Greats line. I love the face on this one. It really reminds me of the Ralph Macquarie art from years ago. And uh, I love Jedi Fallen Order, so great looking figure. Reuses a lot of the Snow Trooper body, but I don't mind about that. And uh, from the Bad Batch, the tech figure. This guy looks pretty awesome. Now, at first, I didn't like the fact that you couldn't see his eyes. But in hand, I've actually got over it pretty quickly. I actually really like these eyes. And I love the fact that when I show the light, you can see it almost looks like you just can't see in the helmet. And I'm really happy with that. And I love the fact he's got all these tools that are removable on the belt. 
great looking figure and all of those could have easily made the top 10 list but unfortunately just some great figures came out this year so they all got pipped to the post number one on the list and i mentioned it earlier from the mandalorian yes it's bo katan and it reuses a lot of the body from the Costco Reeves figure that we looked at earlier. But what makes this figure number one, let's take off this helmet, is the face sculpt. This may be my favorite face sculpt that Hasbro have done. And it is so good. To me, this looks so much like the actress Katie Sekhoff. I think they've done it. I think they've done it so well. They've knocked this one out of the park. And that's why it's number one on my list. Because when you've got a good face sculpt, I think everything else just falls in line so well. And when I look at that, I instantly think of Bo-Katan. And even the details on the helmet are really nice as well. You can see there a bit closer. It's really nice looking uh, helmet. And when you put it on, the look is complete. What a great figure. Very happy to have that as number one Black Series figure 2021. So that was my list. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what was your favourite Black Series figure that was released this year. And even if you're not into Black Series that much anymore, you've gone to the Vintage Collection or something else, let me know what was your favourite toy Star Wars related that came out this year. I'd be really interested to hear. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the phone flinging force be with you. Greetings, Exalted One. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you these two videos. Both are about Star Wars weapons and will serve you well. Until next time, may the Faithful Force be with you.